just, oh my God, to what just happened. Because it was like that, so fast. Well, these road signs you see right there in Corrales, they are there for a reason. There's a good chance you could come across a horse during your daily commute. And there's a certain way that you should act when you do. But Julie Friendak shares the story of one biker who didn't and a local woman paying the price for it. Mike Rob knows horses. Even if they're trained, somebody with a different looking hat or an umbrella can upset a horse. He's been training horses for decades as the co-founder of Loving Thunder in Corrales. He works with his wife, Tuana, providing horse therapy for people with mental and physical challenges. So a leisurely ride off their Corrales property is pretty normal. We've been out a lot of times. They were riding in a group of six last week, blocks from Loving Thunder, when it took a turn. All this I heard was a whirring, woo and all of a sudden, Tuana's horse tucked his butt in. Rob says three of the six horses got spooked as a biker whizzed past. His wife Tuana's horse spooked the worst. She went off on the right, he went down on his left. My horse went down and I jumped off and I went immediately to my wife and she was face first in the dirt. The only thing that saved her nose and her face was wearing her helmet. Hi, sweetheart. Yes, pretty lady. That's a pretty lady. Nancy Freshour was at the back of the pack on her horse named Aspen. And he went by us before I could yell, slow down. He had passed six horses. That's too fast, she says. He broke every rule in the books. And then when he saw what had happened, he kept on trucking leaving Tuana in the dirt with at least five broken ribs. She can barely walk. She can't use her right hand very well. She can't even sign her own name. She's going to be down for months and months and at $25,000 right now just for the hospital and all that is beyond imagination. Rob says you should follow three simple steps when you see someone riding a horse. Stop, wait for a signal from the rider, then move forward slowly. You do not blow the doors off of somebody or blow the stirrups off of us and pass us like that and hurt someone, a family member, and almost kill them. This person needs to come forward and admit what you did. Julie Frendak, KOB4. The Corrales police chief says traffic laws do apply to bicyc uh, bicyclists, so he could be charged with reckless driving. That is a misdemeanor that is punishable by a fine up to $500, also 90 days in jail. He just encourages everyone on the street to slow down and, of course, be courteous as well.